This ball coming to you from the Dynamo Festival in Holland and we are always saying this is the show that's more than metal and we've been seeing some very diverse bands on the programme from the Dynamo Festival coming under the banner of uh, metal, hard rock and uh, we're going to meet another band now who are making their debut on the Headbangers Ball tonight and that is Fudge Tunnel all the way from Nottingham and I'm joined by three members of the band and, uh, you know, we've had a lot of requests for more hardcore on the show recently, so it's kind of appropriate to have, have you guys on. Although, hardcore isn't really a true uh, definition of your sound, is it? Uh, not really, no. Neither is metal, right. neither is grunge, so... Nor is funk, really. No. Neither is country and western, or... So what is then, because you do appeal to hard rock and metal fans, uh. as well as others? Well, that's the point that we don't do any one particular thing. We never said, right, oh, we're going to do this and we're going to be part of this. We just do what happens and we've got a lot of different influences and sometimes that's a problem getting across to people because it's not a set thing. It's not heavy metal, it's not whatever, but that's, a, that's the best way to do it, I think. So do all the band members listen to different styles of music? Is that what kind of made you have so many different kind of outlooks? Yeah, we all listen to all different sorts of things, uh, but there's a lot of crossover as well. So. You started in Nottingham in 1987, and to me, to me, I guess that you were very, uh, sorry, 89. You were very, very young, all under under 20, I guess. Um, what, what in? <laughs> <laughs> Did I make a oh, phone call? Oh God! So what? I want to know yeah, what. All under 17, actually. <laughs> yeah, all... we were two when we started. Yeah. No, we started as seriously. What I'm trying to say is, what inspired you to get into this sort of very aggressive, angry music? Judas Priest. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Judas Priest. And uh, telephone bills. Right. Every time I get a telephone bill, I just, I just have to play hard rock. It inspires you. Yeah, it pays the bill. <laughs> just. Well, you've um. Sorry, We're not really aggressive, you know. We just sometimes just things just get too much, and it, it's all too much to stand. You know, it just makes this mad. <laughs> so you go and take it out on stage, which you did this afternoon to 50,000 people here at Dynamo. Is this the biggest show you've played? It certainly is, by a long way. By a long way. Yeah. And I mean, you. I guess you're used to playing in very sweaty clubs where. The audience are right in your face. How did you? How do you think your sound translated to like a big festival? Uh, well, it's difficult to tell, really, but uh, hopefully, okay. It is difficult to get it across. I think the better gigs that we play at, more the club, small yeah. clubs, tightly packed. You know, it's it was very weird doing that because there's just so many people out there. It's, after the first two or three rows, you just can't see anything anyway. So.
So we'll go into a commercial break right now and then uh, after that I think we're back with Gorefest, is that right? We're coming up with Gorefest, we're meeting up with Jan Chris again from that great Dutch band playing their biggest ever festival on home territory, so stay tuned. <laughs> 